morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we continue to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith in union with the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, of course, is the first Friday of the month, and we also play our pledge our homage to the Sacred Heart of Jesus as well. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for his most gracious and bountiful mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and through the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that being rightly confirmed through the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us from perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation, the word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O oh my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the disciples, this is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you, and this command I give you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Acts of the Apostles today, we pretty much have the teaching of the Apostles regarding the, one of the first problems that crept up in the early church was the Judaizers, the people who said that you have to become a Jew, be circumcised, and follow the Mosaic law, then you can become baptized and then um, enter into the Christian community of faith and worship. Uh, the apostles totally rejected that, and they sent that news out to Paul and Barnabas, Silas and uh, Judas, and so forth, and their their letters to the various Gentile communities that uh, have no part with the Judaizers. They have misled you that uh, you are welcome to be baptized, make your profession of faith, and be welcomed into the community of Christian belief and practice. So today then, the Holy Spirit was there to guide the church in that very first, if you will, ecclesiastical uh, mandate that came from the apostles, that uh, the Gentiles are very much welcomed into the community of faith, uh, already established by the Jewish community who had uh, become Christian. Um, but not that part of the Jewish community that, the, that demanded that others must become Jews before they become Christians. So that part was excluded. So today then we, we hear that the power of the Holy Spirit guiding the church and so forth. And of course Jesus and the power of the Spirit speaks to us the great commandment of love, doesn't he? This command I give you, love one another. You know, and uh, uh, you are my friends, not just uh, my servants. You are my friends because I have told you the things that uh, my father has told me. I have shared them with you. So today then, let us love one another. Let us empower ourselves with the grace of the Holy Spirit given to us in our baptisms and confirmations. And the power of that Spirit comes alive within us and shines brightly every time that uh, you know, we invoke the Holy Spirit's uh, help uh, in our lives. So today then, perhaps maybe we're, we in the Western Church pretty much have uh, concentrated our uh, worship around the Father and the Son, Jesus. And the Holy Spirit was almost like an add-on, if you will. But in the Eastern Church, their worship centers around the Holy Spirit uh, in, in, in their, their uh, um, liturgies and in their teachings and so on and so forth. But we have a, that great power of the Holy Spirit as much as the Eastern Church does. And that power of the Spirit makes things clearer and guides the church so that we will not make uh, that great mistakes along the way in bringing the good news of the gospel to all of those who uh, have so much wanted to hear it and to be saved by it. So today then on this first Friday, let us pray to the Sacred Heart of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will guide each and every one of us in living our Christian lives and inspire one another to greater holiness and to the ultimate goal of living in union with God forever in his kingdom.
May I invite you to stand now together. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Today's response is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all who lead our church, that they may turn from fear and be driven by love to lead the church in bearing good fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, that they may work for the good of all people, especially those who are most vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Listen, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Listen, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Sylvia McGinty, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, that she may present these petitions to her Divine Son, as we all pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and now, 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 By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this wine to offer for the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Let us stand and pray. And through the efforts of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty God, especially in this Easter season when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Grandly holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, be holy, therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to the passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
her way, and supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. But this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in memory of me. of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread, the, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the help of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, uh, her beloved spouse, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. It's not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. May we share the peace of the Sacred Heart with one another. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Thanks be to God.